what do you think about like the future of like jobs and stuff? Do you feel like we're in a scary spot? Do you feel like that's just hype that we're in a scary spot? No, we're in a scary spot. We're in a scary spot. Uh, two things. First of all, yeah, I, th the visuals will define you. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how hard you work. Some people have a difficult time um, processing it. Right. Because yeah, it's hard to see people as more than one thing sometimes, too. It's like our brain just wants to make it easy on ourselves as make well. It, that's right. You know, what can, I, what can I assume from a guy with a haircut like yours, a ball cap, a vest, a T-shirt? You know, the honest answer is freaking nothing. There's nothing to assume at all. But – I'm trained to make all kinds of assumptions. Yeah. And, I'm, and, and so that thing is alive in our culture and it's yeah. alive in our workforce. And it's, it's just bitching everything up because people simply can't, they, they just can't process the cognitive dissonance of it. Uh, the other thing is, yeah, we're, we're in real trouble. Um, I had a guy on my podcast uh, just a couple weeks ago, an economist, named uh, Nicholas Eberhardt. Okay. This guy is brilliant. Harvard, all the abbreviations after his name that you want, uh, American Enterprise Institute, wrote a best-selling book in 2016 called Men Without Work. Just republished it because the contention in the book is now on steroids. Wow. And basically what he's saying is, never mind the unemployment numbers. They don't matter. That's a depression era metric and it doesn't tell us anything we really really need to know here's what we need to know seven million able-bodied men between the ages of 25 and 54 are not only not working they are not looking mm. they're affirmatively not looking for work never in the in in peacetime never has that metric existed before we have 4 million more open jobs today than we did pre-pandemic, and we have 4 million fewer people in the workforce. It's really bad, and you can't find an employer in anywhere today who is not desperate to hire. So like that that's actually happening. So some of the things that I hear when I'm out and about, you know, um, you hear from some people that they're not paying enough. Right. Oh, sure. Um, and then you hear from other people that if they weigh, if they raise the minimum wage in some job in some uh, businesses, then it'll kill the business. Sure. Um, I think greed is also probably a big problem that's happened in this country. It's like we don't, you don't want the man who's working with you to also have success at some point. It's like it's exactly what we just said about two things being true at the same time, and people struggling with it um it is it is true that lots and lots of people are out of work uh it is true that even more people aren't looking for work if i tell you that there are 11 million open jobs in the country right now that's not political that's just a fact yeah. and and no one can dispute it no one does dispute it but what immediately happens is my buddies on the left to your point when I say, why do you think there's so much opportunity here that, that can't be filled? They'll say, because, because business owners are pricks. They're greedy and they're rapacious. And if they paid more money, those jobs would fill. My buddies on the right, when I ask them the same question, will say, because people are lazy. People mm -hmm. are just lazy. They don't want to work. They won't show up early. They won't stay late. They won't take a bite of the shit sandwich when it's their turn. They won't do the thing that needs to be done. So that's how it becomes politicized. It, it doesn't change the fact that there's still 11 million open jobs. But if we want to argue that the jobs are open because the opportunities are shitty versus the jobs are open because people don't want to work, then we're going to paint with a really broad brush and we're not going to solve the problem. Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another. And you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.